It says, if a woman's boss at work says she needs to do better and correct her actions, it has nothing to do about respect. So black people, black women can disre- be disrespectful or not have this utmost respect for their boss, but they're going to correct their action to keep their career or their job going, is what I was saying. It's about behavior. It's not about the respect level they have in their mind and their heart. Nobody gives a rat's ass about that. It's about what they're actually doing. They, their man will ask them not to wear something, and they, they'll say, nigga, you can't tell me what to wear. But their boss tells, tells them at Burger King, wear the blue apron on Fridays instead of the red ones, and guess what? They showing up with the blue apron on for that seven twenty five an hour because they respect their boss yeah. more than they respect the <laughs> man. And that's still Bro. not true. Do you know how many black Bro. women argue and complain about the fact that we are discredited and we have a prejudice against us in the workforce system because they we will go to work with, we will go to work, we will go so to work with a certain color hair and get told about and pulled into the office dragged over I just saw the example of it last week literally but y'all they're still gonna show up and they're gonna they're gonna leave their man but they're gonna keep that job is I have seen, that is not true I ain't have got me to begin with if they <laughs> keep that job they're gonna get another job because if they, they told them that job, they do not like they call we just seen it last week the they'll girl they'll just challenged the whole job they're gonna keep that paycheck they gonna leave the no, man, she did. but they gonna keep that paycheck. She got online and tried to convince uh, us okay. that what she had on was appropriate because they told her at the job it was inappropriate. Instead of her trying to actually go and change her outfit, working at Home Depot, working it in a regular she job. Was working at she Home was Depot. No, time out. I, I spoke to I spoke to that girl. I spoke to her. She was within the code. She was within the code. No, she wasn't, bro. Even her boss. Yes, she was. Said she wasn't. Even her boss, what, was she, what she had wrong? What did she do wrong? Her boss, her boss, how was she out of code? How does how was she out of code? She her the boss job. Was... That's what I'm saying. She did correct the action, even if she was in the code. The job said this is inappropriate. Don't wear those we pants. talked about the teachers. We have seen it with the teachers. The teachers were getting criticized because of them having a figure, and they were saying, "Oh, she was too tight." We sent her home. We told her she shouldn't come back with this on, and they will get online and tell us, "Hey, don't you think this wrong? There's nothing wrong with my." Outfit. I not changing have the outfit. Either. No, Daddy. Because it wasn't nothing wrong with the outfit. They be. They doing it. They doing it on IG and on TikTok. They making videos. But best believe when they sh- clock back in at work, it's with the bright pants on. No, uh, they're we not. Can't, we're we can't, every they're gonna, day. She wasn't wrong. She wasn't wrong in that case. Like, yeah. Whether she was wrong or not, she didn't correct the behavior. She didn't say okay. You can't correct behavior if you're not in the wrong. Well, they thought she was. She wasn't she in the wrong. She, she was wasn't. in the code. But they said she wasn't. It doesn't matter what she thinks. They I said saw the dress code, dude. She wasn't, she wasn't out of dress code. She wasn't out of dress code. It's not. That's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is they said she wasn't, and she didn't correct the behavior. She didn't say, "Oh, I'm gonna wear what they need me to wear." She ran. Hold on, wait. She ran a TikTok. Said, "Look out!" Because it was I'm discrimination. Hold on, wait. They said just the because you, how- you respect the job, you can't get discriminated against. Okay, you can't be discriminated what? against. She you're not gonna. Job. You're not gonna do that. Did she quit the job? You Did she go back to work away with the ex or the No, she said, "Fuck that job." You can't use that example then. We've said this. Like yeah, she was being discriminated okay, against, go, and you can't use that. Go, go back to the teacher, or go back to the girls who were getting fired for their braids. Go back to all of these other examples and these nuances because y'all playing in my face. That's what y'all doing. That's discrimination. Y'all not, not, but even there's, the there's players, literally a law. There's literally the, the Crown Act against that right now. That's now. discrimination. Why should you stand for discrimination? So many black women who saying if a job does not mean not let me wear what I want to wear. I'm not going. The job we do it all the time. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they were discriminating <laughs> against a culture, and so you can't do be that. Be let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're no. saying that there's discrimination present. Although I can understand that, what we're saying is they were told to correct their behavior. They chose not to correct the behavior, regardless of what their their standing was. They have every right to feel and vindicate it. The job said one thing. The black women counteracted it. We have seen it multiple times. We have several different instances. We have literally seen a girl go and set up a, a skit. 
where she is punching in at home and telling these people, oh, when I start getting up to brush my teeth and prepare myself, I'm already and You should have read the comments. Oh, read the comments. Yeah, but that <laughs> now, now <laughs> but now but, but Paris, what you you're doing right now is you're talking about anomalies. The reason why that video went viral is because it's an anomaly. So now it's okay to talk about anomalies, I guess. That doesn't make any sense. Did you read huh? the comments? Let me say did something. No, I need most I of the, the women were agreeing with it. Now, the lady died again. We got to start to bring it to a close, y'all. Uh, I is, just want to ask one question, though. Like, wait, wait. How wait. many times have we heard women saying about how, like, yo, for, for, for 10, 15 years of my career, I had to wear my hair away, my hair a certain way because this type of style wasn't acceptable in, in, the, in the field that they were working in? Well, so, let me get so to that. We understand that. that women for generations have adjusted right to be able to keep their jobs when it comes to dress style when it comes to hairstyle specifically but let men say i want y'all wearing this type of hairstyle do you think the same adjustment is happening like it's happening in corporate america absolutely not so and, that's and exactly what what the video is talking about it's talking about that that um experience in society experience that you have tons of women that can relate to the idea of having to wear their hair straight or wear their hair a certain way for their job but they don't have the same experience as saying they had to wear their hair natural to get a man. They're, they're, that's not their experience. Right. Hold tight, y'all. Hold tight, hold tight. Hold tight. We're going to let Lady Dad go. We're going to close this out with Layla and Ali because I know they didn't really speak. So if they want to add something to it, and then we get to the super chats, get to the main topic. Go ahead, Lady Dad. So the reason why is because some of the jobs that Paris and Sweeney is talking about, some of those jobs don't have great benefits, they don't have great pay. But the jobs that do, Women, or we're talking about women, women will do what they have to do to keep that good paying job. If you want to talk about the military, I think Ali brought up the military. There's a dress code. There's a everything code for you to have your hair a certain way. It has to be a certain length. You can't do this. You can't do that. And women are following that. You follow where, like, if it fits you. If you, if you, I mentioned benefits because benefits is a big part into how someone uh, takes care of their responsibilities at work. They would do everything they have to do to keep it. So you're talking about jobs that don't mean shit. That's what I'm saying. You're talking about jobs that, okay, well, if they lost their job, it ain't going to matter. It ain't do much for them anyway. They shouldn't be working there. So it does matter about where you're working and how the status and all the stuff that Clot was talking about, Layla was talking about, Trev is talking about. It matters because that's how people really take their job serious if you have a serious-ass job. Some of these jobs ain't serious enough to even be caring about. So yeah, you could quit and go get another job tomorrow, but you will never quit a good job. Never. You will do what you have to do and, and make Hold it work on. and respect that boss. All right, let's, let's go to Layla. We got to close this out. Let's go to Layla and Ali. You want to add anything, Layla? Yeah, I agree with what Lady just said, and I stand by my point. Again, I feel as though my initial point was, if you're dealing with someone, you're in a relationship with someone, respect your partner. If you can't respect your partner, it's what it is. When it comes down to status, when it comes down to what jobs offer and respecting a boss over your person at home, honestly, at the end of the day, it just comes down to respect of authority. If you're claiming someone as your partner, your husband, your wife, your whatever you're doing, you should respect them in the same sense as you respect the person at your job. Because ultimately, they're both going to be the person, well, the job provides benefits, possibly whatever, as the lady said, if you have a job that does provide those benefits and stuff, you're going to go out of your way to make sure you're satisfying your boss. And if you're coming home and you have a partner who is making sure you're taken care of and you're being held down, respect your partner as well. If you're not happy with the person you're dealing with and you think they're beneath you, then you should just not be dealing with them. Then just focus on work, your career, what you're doing. But ultimately what it really comes down to, in my opinion, is all about, um, as I said, it's just really about stop picking people that you don't, that you feel are beneath you. Stop picking people you think are beneath you and just work a partnership like you're supposed to. I don't know. All right, go ahead, Ali. I mean, they said a lot. Uh, all I can say is, man, until actual leadership is implemented, you now we all come together until we go to Congress, until we go to uh, to the to the courthouse to make some real changes. This is what's going to be happening every single day until we can take control of our until we could take control of uh, each other, whether we want to be connected to this nation or have a sovereign nation or um, or have let women have their own little nation or let men have their own little nation or let men and women who want to have a nation have a nation until we address that. 
this it ain't gonna change nothing because we're gonna just keep doing this right here. 